today is the day after it just snowed, which was April 20th. The latest I have ever personally seen snow all my life. But we ain't letting it get our vacation down. Today's the total opposite. It's real nice again, nice and sunny, 50 something degrees. We are in Illinois and we are fishing strip mines. We're gonna go to a strip pit that has walleye and crappie. But for right now, we're fishing the creek that runs through the strip mine. And this creek basically is the where all the lakes empty into, all the little spillways from all the pits empty into here. And then this goes in a larger river down to the east. And out of that larger river, every spring has a run of white bass and yellow bass, which we don't have yellow bass in Missouri, very few. So I'm coming here, I'm gonna try to target a couple yellow bass before we go to the strip pit itself to fish for crappie and walleye. There's also Asian carp in here, big channel cats, white bass, crappie, and largemouth. Quite a variety. This is the only stream in Southern Illinois that reminds me of a Missouri stream. It's really rocky, clear, and has honey holes. It's unlike any other stream in Southern Illinois. It's very unique according to the area it's located in. So I always like to stop by here because I've had a lot of good luck. I caught several 13 inch white crappie at this rapid that we're going to right now. So it's worth stopping at just for an hour. And she caught a 30 pound Asian carp here before. So it's worth stopping at. I'm gonna start off throwing a Bobby Garland orange dream sickle. I'm hoping to get a yellow bass because I don't catch a whole lot of them and I haven't for quite some time and maybe some crappie. So let's just see what happens guys. They're in here, that's all I know. And they're running up here as we speak. That's a big old largemouth, guys. I did not expect this big of a bass out of this spillway. She's got the dip net too. I'm the one that needs it. I gotta get down to get him.
Now I can fight him a little harder. Man, he's a nice one too. stay too much longer here about half an hour then we're gonna head to the strip pit well, the bass were very aggressive today so that's a good sign Oh, there went a big old carp. Yep. Big carp right in front of me. Oh my. Honey? Honey? Oh, I see her line. Man, I caught a big three pound bass. Then I had one on the very first throw. Then I had one break my line. You got one? What do you got? Oh man, you're gonna have trouble getting that. You'd have to bring him all the way over here. Yeah. She's got a big old channel cat, it looks like. I can grab him, I can come over this way, I guess. Scare the fish, but. Oh, you got a grass carp. Hold on a minute. What? That's a, oh my God, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't, I think that's a hybrid, don't do that. Don't pick him up, do not pick him up. That is a gigantic, that's a hybrid. If that's a white bass, it's a giant. Oh my God, that's a hybrid. 
How the hell did that get in? It had to come from Wren Lake. Oh my God. On a worm? No freaking way. Let me analyze these stripes real quick. If that's a white bass, he's three plus. Probably 19, 20 inches. That's a giant. It's got to be a hybrid. It's kind of got a pointy head. <clears throat> that's a hybrid. That's about a four pound hybrid. And then I'll film you from down here. That's your first big hybrid, honey. I've never seen anybody catch a hybrid on a worm. Oh my God. Guys, she just caught a nice hybrid striper on a red wiggler of all things. That's freaking insane. I've never seen them bite a worm. They're biting good. That's a hybrid striper. He's about four pounds, right at four pounds. Hold him up for us. That go down even lower with your arms and your get completely on your knee. On on your knee. You gotta duck your body down way more than what you're ducking. Get on your kneecaps. No, your knees. Get on your knees. That'll get you a foot lower. Yes, you're completely on the touching the ground. You're both your knees. That's enough. That'll work. Just stay like that. All right, guys, this is her personal best hybrid striper. We have, she got her personal best common carp. I got my personal best grass carp. We got our very first black carp, and now she gets a personal best hybrid striper the day after a snow on a red wiggler. This is just insane. You've never caught one. If you did, it was real small in Tennessee, a real small one. That's a hybrid. That came out of Wren Lake. Oh my gosh, that's a good catch, hon. Really, really bonus catch right there. Here, but take it off the hook. Give me that. Personal hook. best hybrid, I ended up coming up the hill. That is a nice bonus catch that we did not expect to catch. Didn't think about them being in here, but it does make sense because they're in the river that this feeds into. This thing had to swim about a 20, 30 mile journey though, so I, it baffles me in a way. Right place at the right time. Never thought I'd see one get caught on a red wiggler. Okay. I need to put it back. Yep. That is, he's close to five pounds. Probably it's five. It's about five. The one I got on the wall is 8.6. I can tell. It's See the fine. stripes, how yes. they're, they're jagged? Mm -hmm. That's a hybrid. That's not a white bass. They don't get this big. If you did, it'd be a state record. Be trophy, anyway. We're going to get this hybrid back in, guys. Okay. Wow. My God. Oh, yes. Got something. Something pretty decent. All right, guys, on the suicide, Chad. Boy, what do I got? Oh my God, I don't know. Oh, it's a big catfish on the swim bait. Oh, no, it's an Asian carp. Oh man, I got six pound line. I'm screwed. No, he's small enough, I can get him. It's a buffalo. Guys, I just caught a buffalo on a suicide, Chad. Well, I haven't caught him yet, but I got him hooked. I, it is. It's a big mouth buffalo. Weird on a swim bait. Now that's weird. Caught him on crank baits, but never swim bait like this, guys. It'll take me a while to wear him down. I'm gonna walk him down to where I'm out of this mess. He ain't getting tired either. He is not getting tired. But if I walk him down to these rabbits, he'll be forced to putter out a little sooner than normal. Yep, big mouth buffalo. About four pounds. Not a bad one. That's probably what I had earlier then. Oh, oh, oh 
man, he ran hard. Trying to putter him out. Not bad. We got a good, we did good. Oh, he ain't done yet. I ain't got the dip net, she does, so I'm screwed. I have to grab him by hand. Yep, he's an old big mouth. Oh man, what a fish. <sighs> Woo! Man, what a bonus. My goodness. Big mouth buffalo on a suicide shad. There ain't nothing these things won't catch, guys. I'm convinced. This is a smallmouth, smallmouth buffalo. What a nice bonus catch again, guys. He's milking too, he's got milk all over me. On a freaking swim bait. Crazy. ways to catch one was on a suicide shad that's just unheard of I thought but nothing is during spawn you catch a lot of things you didn't think you could catch but I thought for sure when I first started feeling him pull that I had a channel cat but, oh he could have easily came off that whole time her back in or him all right put her back smallmouth buffalo wow guys what a morning